getting on the bandwagon of something new, you better do your research and you better question it. Find the origin of it. Find the meaning of it. Find the motive of it. Get deep into where the devil fits in to the bigger scheme of things. Because oftentimes, the devil's schemes is not going to be that of something scary, something harmful or dangerous. He's always going to try to manipulate the mind to make it seem like it's beneficial. It eases the pain. It's something you need. And it's something that you're missing in your life. Let's bring it on back to the Garden of Eden. Same situation, same process. Eve was disconnected with God at the time. She was also disconnected with her husband at the time, which was Adam. Okay, And any time you're disconnected with things that God put in your life, there's always going to be room for the counterfeit. So essential oils, there's a big craze going on with having essential oils in your house. Everything that was basically here before we even got here was made by God. From the time that the generation started in the Garden of Eden all the way up to now, these materials, these compounds, if you would, were already here. Satan cannot create anything. Only God can. So the raw materials that you see, even rubber, metals, different things, God made everything on this earth. Now, Satan, on the other hand, he cannot create anything. But what he can do was use Everything on this earth, whether it be the fruit that Eve and Adam ate, all the way up to makeup or (laughs) things like guns and things like bullets, anything, any raw material, anything that is even made synthetically, Satan will try to use it for bad. And what he does is he tries to formulate that by man's own lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes and pride of life. He tries to formulate that to make it appear to be something useful, whether it be on the natural realm, the spiritual realm or the subconscious level. He tries to get in your life and tries to bombard you with things to make you feel just like in a garden of Eden that you're missing out on it. You got to have it. This is something in your life that will benefit you. Sex. Same thing. Sex was created by God for the purpose of procreation. Okay. And pleasure as well. But Satan, on the other hand, is going to use sex and he's going to pervert it and he's going to make it disgusting and he's going to make it raunchy and he's going to make it so many different ways to literally make you lascivious, meaning you do anything. You have sex with a goat, rat, cat, anything. As long as you are sexually aroused, that is the goal of Satan. Okay, nothing behind it, no love, no peace, no joy, no commitment, just downright bam, slam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, so I'm saying all of this, and this is kind of like the intro, because each and everything that is on this earth to God, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, so whether it be crystals, whether it be essential oils, whether it be fruit, whether it be uh, herbs, whatever it is. God has created these things, but what happens is when mankind is mentally warped, gone, and not connected to the true vine, which is Jesus Christ, okay, if he's not connected to the pure and the rawness of what God has created it for, And he wants to work with these things and manipulate these things and morph these things into something dark and demonic. That's when witchcraft and sorcery comes in. That's when demonic 
possession and oppression comes in. That's when idols take root, essential oils. Brothers and sisters, whether it be lavender, whether it be peppermint oil, whether it be spearmint, I don't I don't really know each and every essential oil, okay? I'm not a essential oil guru. But when you use different things for demonic principle, or you use essential oils, okay, as a means of feeling that this can cure you, this can calm you, this can relax you, make you at peace. Anytime when you use essential oils in the physical realm to alter your emotional state and bringing spiritual elements in conjunction with using essential oils, then you are opening up yourself to demonic possession and oppression. When you are putting these things in front of God and feeling that these things can cure you, can heal you, can bring you a sense of calm and peace, can make you feel better, can psychologically get rid of your anxiety. That is when you are literally involved in witchcraft. When you use these essential oils to eradicate any form of stress, any form of anxiety, you are literally putting these oils, okay, in front of the power of God. God is the only one that will give you peace. God is the only one that will eradicate your depression. God is the only one. See, there is no other thing, person, place, or thing that is supposed to take God's place. God is a jealous God. Listen, they sell these things a lot of times in Christian bookstores. (laughs) And you got to be careful with that. That's another subject for another day. Essential oils, brothers and sisters, is not going to eradicate a broken heart. It's not going to bring you peace. Only Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, who died for you, is going to be the only one that facilitates that need. I'm going to move on to crystals. I'm going to get deep today about this fixation with crystals. Brothers and sisters, again, these items were on this earth before we got here. Okay? Crystals, diamonds, metals, stones. I've seen on the Yonla show, and I don't particularly like watching it a lot, but I have in the past, and I noticed it. A couple of her shows, she would use sage to quote-unquote eradicate or eliminate evil dark spirits. Brothers and sisters, it's the same as the essential oils. Anytime you use, okay, fruits, berries, Herbs, spices, crystals, beads, anything that's tangible that comes before God, you are literally working witchcraft. You are working with the devil and you're conjuring up just like a witch. Okay, witches, they you they need they need some type of material. Witches need some type of something, whether it be candles, whether it be beads, whether it be oils and things, anything tangible in their hands that they can conjure up, okay? Energy, okay? Anything that they can literally invoke energy through. They need that as a means of letting the demons, it's like a portal, it's like a spiritual means, a spiritual portal Okay, that demonic spirits can be attached with. And what they do, brothers and sisters, what they do, okay, is now trying to seep through the Christian churches worldwide. They already have the Kondalini spirit, a lot of these churches. They're already operating by hypnosis, mind control, all of this guilt trip. A lot of these churches are putting on people. They're putting people in a box. They're binding people. They're not allowing people to be spiritually free. 
And as long as you have a spiritual yoke on your throat and feel that you're manipulated by a man called a pastor, and once you basically worship him and give him all you got, you are putting him in place of God Almighty. You got this crystal that's supposed to uh, energize you. You got this crystal that's supposed to make you uh, uh, invincible. This crystal that's supposed to protect you from evil. This crystal for this, this crystal for bring you love, this crystal for bring you money, luck. Whatever those crystals are supposed to do, people in droves, even in the Christian community in droves, are taking a bait of the devil. In the Garden of Eden, Satan had to use fruit. He had to use some sort of physical thing that she what? Either ingested in her mouth, put on her skin, or received from this realm that would affect the spiritual realm. You spend more years in the workplace than you do at home or vacationing, oftentimes. So you mean to tell me if you, this is your second home, so to speak, you mean to tell me <laughs> that you're not going to war and praying? Do you know how many demonic spirits? Do you know how many different religions? Do you know, oh man, we, well, okay, okay, ASMR, which stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And if you take some of those words, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, you realize that all of the things that encompasses those words, ASMR, deals with astronomy, the celestial world, the passing through latitude, longitude, senses, self-government, uh, everything that has to do with serving or, 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 or getting connected to something other than what you into right now, reality, anything and everyone that is trying to gear you away from the truth and what is real, you better watch out for it. Because anytime anyone or anything is trying to take you out and dumb you down and seduce you and to enchant you, huh? And to not make you spiritually sober, you are now at a relaxed state. And as long as the devil can keep you relaxed, just like weed, weed kind of chills you out, weed dumbs you down, weed makes you feel smooth, calm, relaxed. But once you are spiritually at a state, brothers and sisters, where you are visually or sensually seduced and dumbed down or calmed down, you are now opening up yourself to demonic possession. So now these demons through sensory and, 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 and again, the ASMR, the goal is to open up or wake your electrical senses. You, you feel like a tingling sensation. You, you feel that your spine is being awakened, but it's actually a Kundalini Python demonic spirit that just now has entered in your members. And when I say members, brothers and sisters, your heart, your mind, your spirit, your soul, your body, every part of you, your members, your makeup. Now you are opening up yourself through sound. ASMR and all of this other crap that the devil is conjuring up and souping up. You as a child of God, quote unquote, hopefully. Should do your due diligence spiritually and say, listen, listen. Is God approving of this? Is this something that is in my garden? That needs to be routed out. The devil, again, is using the things that are on this earth and perverting it so that you can now use these things as a refuge, as a resting place, as your refuge of hope, peace, 
tranquility. Satan is loving it. That's why he gave Eve that fruit. 